Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. The common laburnum is a beautiful tree and one of the most feared of the poison plants, but it does not justify its harmful reputation. Its main toxin is similar to nicotine, but not nearly as strong. Many cases of ingestion of a small number of seeds produce no symptoms. Where symptoms do occur, these are usually nausea and vomiting. Higher doses can produce sleepiness. Its reputation seems to have developed in the 1970s, when a claim of 3,000 hospital admissions a year was made, but without considering how many of those were actual poisonings rather than just suspected. The accepted treatment at the time involved immediate gastric lavage, having the stomach pumped so there was no time to find out that symptoms didn't arise. The hysteria about laburna became so bad that if a child so much as stood too close to a tree, there was a good chance of a hospital visit. I'm not saying ingestion doesn't happen. There is a very clear route. The seed pods look quite like small pea pods, and cases can arise from children playing at having a dinner party. As recently as 2007, there was an incident involving primary school children. The school grounds had been extended by clearing an overgrown area adjacent to a neighbour's laburnum tree. Fifteen children were taken to hospital after being seen playing with the seed pods, but none became ill. Any number of people have told me that they have removed laburnum trees because of the children, but when questioned, it turns out that they have left other, more poisonous plants in place. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.